flashback. Consistency is gonna be insane. I told myself 2023, I am branching out. Content will be insane. I'm trying to go out this year. January 26th of this year officially marks my one year anniversary of getting back into YouTube. And I'm just gonna talk about what I've learned from the experience. I forgot to do my intro, my bad y'all. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Or if y'all are new, welcome to the channel. It's Jeremiah to fly. I'm back once again with another video. As y'all see by the thumbnail and the title, we gonna make this like a sit down talk type of video. And a mukbang, only one, cause why not? Let's get into the order real quick. Got me some Chick-fil-A, right? Cookies and cream milkshake. 12 count nugget meal with a medium fry and Polynesian sauce. Can never go wrong. I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that. Peep the little subscribe or relay. I don't know what size gonna be on it. This one or this one. But peep, man, we moving up, man. We moving up. In honor of being on YouTube consistently for a year, let's go ahead, dive into what I learned. Rolled a brand new intro. Nobody, nobody. When I tell y'all it is only up from here, it is only up. I'm at a bitch in New York. She want me by the yard. I tell her no bit at the door. Selling her all of my toys. I'm bothered but I need some more. Remember a nigga was poor. Never work out both our doors. Now I should have made this video on New Year's or whatever the case may be. However, I didn't really know what I was gonna touch upon. So that's why I kind of put it off for a little bit. I wanted to wait until I officially hit the one year mark. And I did that. So now I have enough of the experience to tell y'all what I've learned from doing this stuff. First things first, even though this is very, very, very cliche and everybody says this, literally every content creator you could possibly think of says this, it's facts. What I'm about to say, stay, 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 stay consistent. And that's been hard for me lately, I'll be honest, because for one, I'm a freshman in college, so I don't really know what life is gonna throw at me, but it's gonna throw, it's gonna throw something in my way. And I got, a, I got like three things to balance now. School, social life, friends, family, all that other stuff. And YouTube, because I really wanna succeed from this. And I see, I see it happening day by day by day, and I just haven't stopped. Seeing all these other, content creators lifestyles and stuff has me motivated that if they could do it I can do it too not even to be on no corny stuff or anything like that but it's real bro like my drive for this has been real if y'all know me y'all know how much I've been wanting to blow up on social media bro I've been doing content on TikTok since 2019 December of 2019 actually just hit four years of being on there about to be at 10k that's pretty big for me honestly but it's just the beginning in the words of of, of the great phantom with the cannon why would i quit today, today? when tomorrow, tomorrow the might day be I, the day i win the real shit bro i can't stop yet the train's just rolling i really can't that, that's where i'm gonna get into the second thing second thing i learned doing this youtube stuff is sometimes I gotta sacrifice having fun with other people in order to make myself happy with editing. I love editing. Whenever I get done making videos, editing is my favorite part. Some people say it's their, their least favorite part. I love it. Cause whenever I edit, I feel like, I feel like I'm watching a movie. My videos are like movies. And if I don't enjoy watching my own videos, I have no reason to even do this. You gotta enjoy the content you make, bro. If you don't enjoy it, what makes you think other people will? Come on, you really you really gotta believe in yourself, bro. And that's what I learned just doing this content creation stuff on all platforms. YouTube, TikTok, everything. You gotta have fun with it and have fun with yourself. Another thing that I definitely learned being on here is that you have to be as authentic as possible. Don't fake nothing for views. Don't fake anything for some subscribers. Cause people, people are smart. Hopefully some people are smart. And they can see what's real and what's fake. 
it's pretty easy to tell. For me personally, I know who the frauds are on the on these on these platforms. It's clear as day. How they treat their fans off camera is not how they treat people. It's not how they act on camera. And it's very like two faced. That's not that's not who I am. And I never wanna become that person even when I when I blow up. And yes, I said when because power of manifestation. I believe in that firmly. If I say it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I said I was gonna have a video that's gonna blow up on TikTok. I had three. Three. Really four. A lot of them were music related and they happened to blow up. Um, so that gets me into number four. I learned that it's okay not to know what you wanna do when it comes to making content because eventually you're gonna keep you're gonna keep trying stuff, experimenting with what type of things you make or what type of videos you make. And one day you're gonna have something that just sticks out. For me, all the things having to do with music and story times, music and entertainment, have been the things that have been, gained me a lot of traction on my channel. Every music review has done well. Most of the story times I've done, they did well. Well on my terms. Maybe not well to the general public, but to me, anything I guess like 500 views, I'm happy with. Because that's more than what I'm used to. Feel me? Now on my YouTube Shorts, YouTube Shorts has been very successful for me lately. I had two videos go over 10,000. Go over 10,000 views. And I'm very happy with that. That's just step one though. Step two is monetization. Once I get monetized, I already love doing this for free. Imagine me getting paid from this. Man, once I get paid, man. Man, listen, can't nobody tell me nothing. I don't want to let the fame and the fortune and the recognition change who I am as a person. Because deep down, this isn't my life. I'm still a college student. I still go through stuff. I'm still human. One day, though, I want to be able to say that I inspire somebody to turn their life around. Just, just doing this stuff because... I've fallen, I've fallen in love with content creation at the end, of, at the age of thirteen. However, though, now I'm pretty sure people who have been subscribed to me or who know me in in real life, I've told them this story. So I started making YouTube videos when I was thirteen. However, I was in middle school, and you know what's, what happens in middle school and once you get social media. Everybody's watching everybody's stuff. Nobody's really minding their own business. Everybody's in everybody else's life. So I was making YouTube videos, reactions, challenges, things like that. Now, now that I look back at it, I don't know what I was doing. If you go on my channel, those videos are wiped off the face of the internet. Maybe somebody's going to find some because they're weird and they screen record it. But I just lost a whole lot of self-confidence because people were trying to tell me what I should or shouldn't do was what I love. Like, people were telling me, oh, you're cringy, you need to quit. And guess what? I let it get to my head and I actually quit. It's very, it's very sad. And I went under a complete, I went under a completely different name then too. Now that I think about it, it makes sense. The name was cringy as It was very corny. I wouldn't even want to tell y'all the name. That's how bad it is. Somebody's probably going to find one of my old Instagram pages and it's probably going to leak to the face of the earth. But do I really care though? No, because that's life. Life happens. People are going to find stuff and, and that's fine. But over the course of this year, I definitely learned the power, that consistency, and sometimes when it comes to this, it's okay to be annoying. Flood your channel with a bunch of videos. That's what I do. If I'm not posting regular long form videos every single day, I'm posting shorts every single day. And I'm still getting more subscribers, more views, more traction, more watch time to another part of the platform. And now I feel like I'm sort of mastering 
the marketing behind the behind the YouTube business and I don't know it makes me feel good it makes me feel like I'm a, it feels like one day I'm gonna become like this super this super genius who just understands the game so well and is gonna be able to teach others how to do it I've been getting into like making music and stuff too but I don't take it seriously at all it's not it's not it's not something that I'm passionate about but I know how to take a beat and make something sound good now I have a lot of people in my life that tell me oh I should take it seriously oh you should become an artist you should become like DDG become a youtuber for the first few years and then slowly transition into an artist I mean maybe maybe I'll think about it however though being a being an artist rapper singer whatever comes with a lot Kind of the same as being a content creator, but they go through a lot more. Like, as soon as you want to switch your style up, as soon as you want to dive into a new genre of music, people are gonna find a way to hate on that. And that's, I don't, I not, and I don't like that. I'm really not here for it because knowing me. I'm going to want to try something new every album or every song that I ever make or release. I got some 90s beats downloaded on my um on my uh, desktop. Will I do something with it? Maybe. And if I do something with it, am I going to release it? Probably not. Because again, I don't take music seriously. I do it because it's fun. I really said all this to say, live your life to the fullest. You know what I mean? It's okay if you're young and don't really know what you want to do. But if you want to start doing this, like, putting your name out there through social media, do it now. Do it while you're still young. I promise you, you're probably going to regret it in the future. Now, I'm already talking about the future, but I don't want to look too far ahead first. I want to, I kind of want to stay in the present. The channel's been growing a lot. Slowly but surely, it's been growing a lot. I had a video touch, 50, I had a short touch 50,000 views. That's, that's never happened before. And I can't really say too much on how I feel about it because I'm still processing it to this day. How did it, how did it do that? How did it go that far? I didn't see myself getting that many viewers. But at the end of the day, I know it's just the beginning and it was just one video. Soon 100,000 is gonna be nothing to me. Not to, not to be like egotistic or anything, but I haven't even eaten the nuggets yet. I might end this video before I even finish my food. It's the last day of January. January 31st and I'm about to dive into a whole new month the second month of 2024 I feel like we started started the year off pretty strong you know what I mean I got new milestones to achieve new goals to accomplish new styles to try I'm already trying new editing styles and they're working in my favor there's a lot of stuff I'm investing in I'm investing in more equipment so I can take this to the next level because I really want to this is what I really want to do with my life I told a few people this but I haven't told that many I don't want to I don't want to leave college and end up working a job for the rest of my life that I don't like honestly I'm here on a scholarship but I'm here to become a boss, not a good employee. I don't know about everybody else here, but I'm here. I'm here to become a boss. That's why I declared my major in the business world, so I know about a money making moves and things like that. By the time I leave here, I'm gonna take some classes in like media production and stuff like that, so I know how to amplify my content. Feel me? Also, marketing is something that really catches my eye. I want to study how I can excel in that realm. You know what I'm saying? 
Do y'all think it's weird that I licked this part? Huh? Never mind. Don't don't answer that question. I don't really know what else to say. I feel like I covered everything. I talked about what I learned, goals I want to accomplish. I think I'll end the video right here. To everybody who's shown me the utmost love and support here on this channel the entire year I've been on here, thank y'all so, so, so much. I appreciate y'all more than anything. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart, for real, for real. Whether it's people that I know in real life, people that I've never met before that I met on the internet, random strangers who even watch my videos but don't subscribe, I thank y'all too. Y'all are unlocking so many opportunities for me. It's insane, and y'all are... Literally, I'm literally blessed to have people like y'all. But in all seriousness, I looked at my analytics. Over 90% of the people who are who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're watching this right now and you're part of that 90%, what are you doing? What are you doing? Click out the full screen, scroll down, and hit the subscribe button. Because I know y'all want to see more of me. I know you do. Come on now. Come on now. Don't don't even sit here and lie. If you even made it this far, I appreciate you for listening for even listening to me. Make sure you guys like the video. Comment down below what kind of content y'all want to see next. Uh, again, hit the subscribe button. It's completely free. I promise you it won't even cost you a dime. Turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And share the video with a friend as well. Somebody who needs motivation, share it with anybody who you think needs a little bit of motivation. With that being said, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. God bless y'all. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, man. Bust out, roll the avalanche. Yeah, my old bitch average. This my first time rapping it. I might go retarded shit. Bentley Coop, I'm dashing it. Standing my money, I'm tall as shit. Told him, don't you doubt the kid. Told him, don't you doubt the kid. I run up 30 on 30 on 30. When I'm in the streets, I stay too sturdy.